activists broke into two separate airports in Germany. Those protesters glued themselves to the runways. <laughs> Can you believe it? Got there on their bike. Cancellations <laughs> and delay for travelers. Mark Morano is the publisher of ClimateDepot.com, and he joins us now. Good morning, Mark. Thanks for coming on. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So, you know, looking at this, first of all, I don't even want to know how these people got on the runways. They're not supposed, it's unauthorized, but it really just goes to this generation of throwing tantrums instead of going through the normal channels to enact policy and get legislators attention. Yeah, I mean, this is a group called The Last Generation. What an ominous name that they have. In other words, they think unless they throw themselves on these highways, on these airport runways, that they're doomed, that this is it, that the Earth, people have had their, their run on this planet. But the frightening part, Nicole, is this is much more, I believe it's much more than a tantrum because you now have major government reports funded by the UK government, and one example, calling for the shutting down and prevention of new airports Airports to meet the climate agenda. You have a UK uh, judge ruled that a third runway at Heathrow is not viable in a climate emergency. So the scary thing is the governments and the politicians have been listening to these protesters. They're shutting down air transportation. In France, they banned two and a half hour flights or less. And there's an EU wide proposal to ban six hour flights, all to save the climate. So as wacky and nutty as these protesters look, there's actual politicians, courts, and governments listening to them and following this insane agenda. Mark, I, I wasn't going to go here, but you know, I've heard from a number of people inside the airline industry recently that say that even air traffic control rules here in the United States have tightened up in a way that's made air travel that much more difficult. So could the point be to make air travel, even here in the States, more difficult, more complicated, less frequent in advancing this agenda? Absolutely. Bloomberg News, major corporate news outlet, had an article about climate compliance costs making cheap airfare a thing of the past. Now, what they're trying to do is make airfare uh, expensive and difficult to obtain, and that's actually baked in to these climate regulations. And absolutely, they're doing everything they possibly can. Same thing with cars. They're they're intentionally collapsing our plentiful car supply by banning gas-powered cars. That creates rationing, which creates shortages, which is then going to force people into mass transit. So that this is all incredible. Like, like, I like to joke, you'll go nowhere and be happy. But it is a true assault on our freedom of movement in the name of climate change. Hey, Mark, it's an inherently anti-democratic movement, meaning it's being driven by a, an elite few with an agenda. But I am curious as far as, like, public opinion. This can't make you popular. This can't make your movement popular. Delaying flights, canceling flights, get in the way of traffic. I mean, the tactic is to be as annoying and, and, and irritating as possible. Yes, it is. In fact, you know, you'll see a block sporting events at halftime. You'll see them out in traffic when when your average Joe is trying to go back and forth to work. You know, on one hand, and this is funded by Hollywood millionaires and billionaires and the Getty family and uh, a whole host of foundations and, uh, you know, Hollywood directors. So it's it's amazing that they think this is good PR. But as I said, someone in government seems to be listening because their side is making traction. They are literally collapsing our modern form of transportation, both plane and car travel, and they're rationing all of our travel. But no, this is this is the Look dumbest PR move, but it works. Yeah, these videos we're seeing, yeah. their, their hands are in the asphalt. Yes, it's have been awful. Pulled yes. out. Meanwhile, China and India are the world's biggest carbon And emitters. Hollywood keeps flying on their own jets. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, all right, Mark Morano, thanks so much for thanks joining us. Mark. Runways feel more over the target than artwork, though, if that's your goal. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, yeah. No, I mean, all they're doing is they're stopping flights of just average citizens. It's not fair. Oh, it's stupid. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.